so yes, I am Brian Borum. I work at a company called Waveworks. I am talking about FluentD. Why am I talking about FluentD? Um, so we, at work, we run this uh, SaaS system called Weave Cloud. Uh, it, uh, uh, it does things like this um, and uh, has a hosted Prometheus multi-tenant model. There's lots of stuff like that. We run it all uh, within Kubernetes and we um, don't like to run things ourselves if we can get away with it. So we, we chose a product called Logly to view the logs and they recommended we use FluentD. So, um, so enter uh, idiot developer who has to try to configure the thing. Um, so what I wish I knew about FluentD in five minutes. Um, number one, FluentD is awesome. Uh, I did not think this at the beginning. This, this is me Googling for replacements. Um, and, you know, it's just, it's just sending logs. You know, it's like I could probably replace it in a small Go program in 30 minutes. No. Um, the thing is, when you, when you really get into it, you, you learn um, the, uh, the, thing is, the thing is really, really powerful. Um, it, it's very, very configurable. You can, you can set up all kinds of pipelines uh, to send different things different ways. And, parse things and so on. And there's a huge number of plugins. There's, there's a huge ecosystem. Uh, so whatever you want to do uh, in the way of like grabbing your logs and doing something with them, uh, there's probably a FluentD plugin uh, for that. So, um, so yeah, basically my lesson number one is I wasted like three days of my time trying to get rid of the thing. And, uh, and I should have just got with the program and, and um, learned a few more things about FluentD. Uh, what else did I have to learn? Um, yeah, versions. This this was kind of complicated. Uh, they they used to have a 0 0.12 and a 0 0.14, and most of the blog posts you read are about 0 0.12. And the newest one was 0 0.14, but it didn't seem to be the mainstream version. And who you know what are we supposed to be doing? Uh, so as it happens, that resolved itself um, late last year. They released 1.0. 1.0 is based off 1.14. So almost every blog post about FluentD is wrong. Um, but they'll catch up. You know, it's OK. It's moving forward. It's good stuff. Um, uh, number three, use buffered output. Uh, so this is what it says on the Logly web page. This is a product we happen to choose. Um, and uh, they say do it this way. This is wrong. Do it this way. There's, there's two different plugins. There's one called Logly and one called Logly Buffered. And, and if you don't do the buffered output, it's, it's like uploading one line at a time over the internet. Um, so don't do that. Uh, use, use buffering. FluentD has very, very powerful buffering. Um, you can configure it 90 different ways. And uh, it, it, it works great. It's just that uh, people put the wrong stuff on the web page. Um, uh, number four, it doesn't run as root. Uh, well, maybe. Um, so this is the current FluentD Docker image. It has this line in it uh, where they set the UID to 1,000. And it's very good practice, don't run as root. Um, unfortunately, in a Kubernetes install, all your log files are owned by root. They're not readable by UID 1,000. And uh, as far as I can tell, the uh, effective way to fix this is to override that variable to zero. Um, security. So uh, lastly, uh, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, it's written in Ruby. It's, it's, I'm not a Ruby programmer, um, but I found uh, when I didn't know things, at the end of the day, the easiest thing to do was shell in there and start printing stuff out and like look at the source code. It's not complicated, really. Um, it, it, it's very well laid out, very neat, and uh, so yeah, just uh, uh, just go look at it, just figure it out with the code. Uh, so that's it. Thank you.